Fresh vegetables are in bloom at the Waldo Way, and ground beef is back in stock. So Reese shows us how to make good use of both. If you've never had real raw, uh, real grass-fed hamburger meat, you just gotta try it because the ones you buy in the store, they leave this residue on your hands. I'm not sure exactly what that is because ours doesn't do that. We're just gonna put this in our pan. It's a hot skillet. I love skillets. I love cast iron uh, skillets. So if you have cast iron, I suggest using that because of the, it's heavy. And I think we're just gonna use half a pan with what we've got. Just really and really, we just wanna flavor um, this, this uh, hamburger meat. We wanna flavor our vegetables with the hamburger meat is all we want to do. You could also, if you wanted to, just use a little bit of bone broth and you can accomplish a similar dish. So we have a 90-10 meat that we use, but we don't have any of the um, added water. So the processed meats that you find in the store, and I learned this from our food processor, the, the a family that actually processes our meat, and they told us that the, the big companies actually soak meat in a salty brine water because the meat then actually absorbs that water and you're buying a lot of water. And that's when you have the water left over in your pan. You'll see in a little bit, we won't have any of that water. Okay, so while the meat is, is in the, uh, the skillet, we're just gonna go ahead and cut up our squash. You could do this any way, have it any size that you like. I prefer these this size. I think it makes really pretty uh, dish when you have it this size. When you, If you have a mandolin and you're doing it the way I'm doing it, be sure to be very careful when you get that close. Done. So as we're about through, let's go ahead and add the, the onion in here and get it to saute along with our meat. So see, we don't have to pour off any grease. There's no water we have to pour off anything. It's just a beautiful, very tasty, real meat. And if we put the lid on it, we're gonna capture some of that steam in there. And so it's gonna, so we're gonna add a moisture to it. So after your uh, onions have kind of gotten translucent al dente, you're gonna add your squash to that pan. So this is a one pot, great meal that you're gonna add. At this point in time, I go ahead and add my salt. And one of the reasons why I add the salt at this point is because I want to I want to extract the moisture from the vegetables. That's what it does. It draws out the moisture from the vegetables. So let's give it a little stir, and we're going to put the lid on it. In about ten minutes, is all. We're going to come back, and we're going to have this amazing dish ready to go. So in five or ten minutes. We are completely through with this meal because we have already added the seasoning to it. It doesn't take much, but what you can do at this point is add a little bit of my cream. So it will give a great rich taste to this. Or if you'd like to, you can add a little bit of our uh, Greek yogurt in here. And it will also give you that very, very creamy taste. So you can see, it took months to do this. So everyone here at the farm, they're hungry, they're ready to eat. So we have a squash dish and with the, the hamburger in it and onions. And then we have our cucumber sauce with a little bit of salt uh, and pepper on it. The Greek yogurt on top of that. And then our beautiful tomatoes from the garden. I hope you guys are having a beautiful summer. This is Reese, blessings of great abundance.